All right, I thought I'd clear the air here a little bit. 1961 Jaguar XK150. Couldn't figure out where the fuel tank vent was. So on this particular car, I had to take the gas tank out of it, had to put the new felts around it, de-rust it a little bit, uh, took the sender unit out, put a new gasket underneath it with the little copper washers and all that. Um, new fuel filler hose, that was a real nuisance. Um, and then I found a vent hose that I thought for a split second was a, was a fuel tank vent, but it's not. That vent hose that goes from inside here on the fuel filler neck, it goes down on the nipple in the upper part of the tank, is only to vent whenever you have the fuel door open and you're filling it. It's not to vent whenever this is shut. So I did my internet research and uh, found some pissed off people. One guy chimes in, try to ask where the fuel vent was, and you get all these pissed off people trying to figure out where it was, and then the post just faded away to nothing. So anyway, um, took me a couple of months. I was talking to one person. I told him about it. I said, I cannot figure out where the vent is. So some people were talking about poking a hole in this, or there's some microscopic hole in this or whatever. If you follow this piece here, there is no way that it can get through the rubber and around this steel piece and vent. It just, it's just not how it works. So anyway, I came out here one day just poking around. I looked down there, and right there's a vent hole. Couldn't believe it. Felt like a dumbass. But anyway, I'll move the camera over here and show it to you. It's in the back end of this filler neck, about a 70 thousandths hole. That's the vent. It's got to have it. And in the worst case scenario, that the tank is full, and I don't know, you do a burnout and all the fuel flies up the filler neck, it's just going to go inside this little bulkhead here and drain out of that port there that leads to the inside of the fender here. No harm, no foul. But other than that, that's the vent. And if it rains, it's up above almost, I don't know, it looks like about three-eighths or half an inch from the top of this. So the rainwater can go in, go down the discharge hole and still vent and not fill the damn gas tank with petrol tank with, with water. So anyway, um, I'll bring this camera over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. One less thing I gotta worry about. Gotta have a vent. So anyway, let's get the light on here. If that helps, maybe it's not right there. Just see that peep of pinhole light right there. There it is. So I hope that clears the air. And I don't know on a 140 if it has a similar arrangement. I think it does. A 120 doesn't have this fuel door, but I think a 140 might. So this is 1961, so anyway, uh, I thought that might uh, be helpful to some people. All right, 10-4 out.